Let's look at the steps involved in creating composite veneers for the maxillary anteriors using the injection molding technique. First, use the crown cutting burrs to prep the tooth from canine to canine. Once prepped, take an alginate impression and pour a diagnostic model in dental stone. Wax up the prep teeth on this stone model. Once done, extrude the exa clear into the mandibular metal tray and take an impression of the waxed up diagnostic model exa clear is a crystal clear vinyl polysiloxane material its transparency offers total visual control and is ideally suited for the injection molding technique the clear stent is checked for fit in the patient's mouth next Create vent holes in the stent with the tip of the geanial universal injectable composite. Isolate 1311 and 22 with plumber's tape. Apply G Premio bond on the adjacent teeth. Dry with maximum air pressure for 5 seconds, then light cure for 10 seconds. Start injection molding on 2-3 with Geanial Universal Injectable Composite. This composite is a universal restorative displaying exceptional strength, aesthetics and uniquely high thixotropic viscosity. Inject 2-1 with Geanial Injectable, then Light Cure. Inject 1-2 with Geanial Injectable, then Light Cure. Take out the stent, remove the gross excess. Next, isolate 1-2, 2-1 and 2-3 with plumber's tape. Apply G Premio Bond on the adjacent teeth. Dry with maximum air pressure for 5 seconds, then light cure for 10 seconds. Start injection molding on 1 1 with Geanial Universal Injectable. Light cure through the clear stent. Inject 2-2 with Geanial Injectable. Then Light Cure. Inject 1-3 with Geanial Injectable. Then Light Cure. Take out the stent, remove the gross excess. Polish with dye polisher paste. Dye polisher paste is a diamond paste containing superfine diamond particles 
that gives the perfect glossy surface with high luster.